In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 suites in Japanese department stores. So what a lot of people don't know is that in Japanese department stores, they have a really, really cool and unique suites that you won't get in a lot of places. Today, we're going to go into Hikari and I'm going to show you all the cool and interesting suites that they have. Let's go and try it all out. One thing I want to say is that the department store suites are quite fancy and it's not kind of like an everyday thing you have. Maybe they'll get it as a gift or they'll give it to someone like on their birthday or just like for special occasions or when someone just wants like a special treat because it's not the cheapest in the world but it's pretty freaking creative and unique and this is why we wanted to do this video. All right. Let's get started. Number 10, Ichigo Daifuku from Murakami. Murakami has been providing Japanese sweets since 1911. This fluffy Ichigo Daifuku strawberry soft mochi is made one by one by hand. We got Ichigo Daifuku. Look at that, the strawberry is right there. Outside layer, this white layer, it's very, very soft and sticky, but it's more of like a Play-Doh almost. In between the mochi and the strawberry, it has a red bean paste, which is called anko in Japanese. Mmm, that's delicious. The strawberry is delicious. The strawberry is like overpowering. You have this like almost tart, sweet taste of the strawberry, but then you have the red bean paste, and then you have the mochi, which is like a sticky, and it all comes together. Wow, I'm really impressed with this. Very, very good combination, but the strawberry is like the star here. It's kind of like Orange is the New Black, and Piper is a strawberry. The uncle and the mochi is a supporting cast. It's also good. Like, Piper's great, but the supporting cast just brings it all together. Mmm! It's so good! I think strawberry is sweetened. I know what you mean. She's a star. <laughs> she is a star. I still taste the uh, fresh, sour taste a little bit. I don't know she was. Number 9. Eggs Benedict Quiche from Quiche Yoroizuka. Super psyched that a celebrity patissier, Toshi Yoroizuka, created this quiche specialized store with a full spectrum of colorful deli quiches. They are irresistible. Now, I don't know if this is like classified as a sweet per se because it's Eggs Benedict, but it smells so good. You can definitely smell the hollandaise sauce and you can see the egg. I'm just gonna put this crumb catcher underneath one big bite. Mmm! Oh my god. Look at that. The egg yolk is coming out of the top. I took a bite in the front and then the egg yolk came out the back like a scared burglar. Definitely taste the hollandaise sauce. This is amazing. And then when the first bite, I was surprised. They actually have some ham in here. It's so delicious. It's like your own freaking meal. Definitely freshly made. This is so good. I can have like three of these for breakfast and I'll be so happy. The pie crust it's really flaky so it's not that thick. It's very very thin. It just crumbles when you take a bite. I'm amazed how precise this is made. Look the egg and everything is just it's cooked perfectly so that there's still that egg yolk and it just melts in your mouth. I don't know where to eat. <laughs> this bottle popped in York. York? Yolk? Yolk? Yolk. York? No, yolk. Yolk. No, yolk. It's York? Like New York? No, no, yolk. With a yolk. Y O. Okay. But people say York, though. No, they don't. Oh. Okay, do like mass. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Is there any sauce in there? Also, I guess this, I think you have like a little scramble zone on the bottom, and then you have ham, poached egg, hollandaise sauce on the top. It's good. I make hollandaise sauce myself. Sometimes it turns out really like too sour or like too salty or like too oily, but this is not salty, a bit um, sour, more like mayo kind of taste, but like everything else is like really solid, so it like balances out really well. Alright, so I'm just gonna finish this. 
Hey, what's this? There's like onions in there. See that brown layer? That's onions. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Number eight, matcha cake and Mont Blanc from Giotto. Giotto is known for delightful cakes with Japanese ingredients, and I got their top sellers. Two is always better than one, right? Wow, look at this. We have matcha. It's actually called koicha. Koicha means rich matcha. <laughs> it's so heavy. I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna fall, but I just wanted to show you guys how decadent this thing is. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I'm putting it back down. So this is Mombaran. Look at this. It comes in a little plate. It's so elegant. Ah! Oh no. Just open it up. Oh. So you can see right here, it has the cream, like a whipped cream, and then there's a cake inside. And then right in the middle, it looks like a creamy cake part. I wonder what that's gonna taste like. It's more like a custard, I think. No surprise, it's very like a nutty, creamy taste, which is almost like a tiramisu, or it almost tastes like a rum. This tastes the cake itself. It looks very moist. Mmm. So this almost is like a pudding taste. This tastes all right, chestnut. The chestnut is sweetened so like a glazed chestnut. So if you like chestnuts and you like rum and you like pudding, this is the thing for you. To be honest, this is not my favorite. I looked really cool because it looked like a mountain with a little chestnut on top. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that I hate Mont Blanc, hate chestnut. So I hope this one doesn't taste like chestnut. Itadakimasu. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Mm, I think I got a big bite of pudding part. It balanced out really well with this chestnut cream and this outer layer part. This chestnut. All right, let's try the koicha. Mm. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm, this is really good. I like it. Very elegant taste. It's almost like a little princess had a little tea party and may put it into a cake whatever that means i really enjoying this like really green matcha cream very satisfying so it has six layers three sponges layer white frost matcha frost and the topping is like thick matcha cream or something so i'm just gonna have all of it at once yeah so look at that mmm it's really fluffy. The cream is like, it's almost like a frost, like the one on the topping of like birthday cake or something. It's really light and fluffy. Really good matcha cream. So it has a black bean inside of white frost layer. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, shit. Number seven, Milfui from Bernay. Bernay's Milfui is one of the most popular and loved sweets gifts in Japan. It comes in five different package sizes and I got the smallest, a set of seven. So this is Milfi Yu. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it looked so freaking good that I had to get it. There's three different flavors here, and I'm gonna start off with the milk chocolate because milk chocolate is just so good. Let's taste this milk chocolate goodness. Mmm! They have like these layers of pie crust. If I don't know if you guys can see that. Then it has some cream in there. Pie crust, cream, pie crust. It just has all of this like goodness. And then it has, it's coated with milk chocolate. If you look at the box itself and the sweet chocolate actually has three, but I think this one is like the main one or the original one. Let's try this one and, and see how it is. I mean, sweet chocolate and milk chocolate it sounds almost the same. It's really, really dark. If you compare the two, this one is a lot darker. Let's try this. It is definitely a lot darker than the milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is definitely like a lot smoother, but the pie crust inside is really nice. It's like crumblefication in there. It's like making love to my mouth. All right, so I just gotta try it. We're gonna try the hazelnut as well. And it looks like, in terms of the color of the chocolate, you can see that the sweet chocolate is the darkest, milk chocolate is the lightest, and the hazelnut is kind of in the middle. Mmm, decided. This one is my favorite. I love hazelnut. This guy is the most loved child in this family. Okay, I'm gonna eat the leftover of Paolo's because I wanna eat this later because it's my favorite snack. I used to get this at work. My favorite is hazelnut. Mmm. Like 
I know it's good. I didn't realize that it has like a whipped cream on the side. Or maybe that is like a hazelnut cream. The meter for you like pie layers is so light and like it's not too buttery like you know like sometimes the meat of you could be like really really buttery and heavy and like makes you kind of thick but this is just perfect it's so good oh it is dark chocolate dark red chocolate um i don't really see much of cream compared to hazelnut i taste more of like pie cross part like more kobashi yeah it was just good oh, i like it Mmm! It has a lot of cream. That's why it's all milky and like creamy. Number 6. Ranmitsu from Zenka Shoin. This Kyoto born Japanese sweet sort is fairly new to the scene, but their paper bag Katsutera is scrum diddly umptious. I love how this thing is packaged. Look at this. It's like a little egg. So cute. It comes with a little. Oh! Oh, look! Looks like a foot. And the unveiling. I really love how this is all packaged. The packaging is amazing here. And it has like these little salt flakes on top. Oh, I think it's sugar. They say that they bake it in this paper just like this. That's pretty cool. Golden brown. Definitely it's like moist to the touch. All right, let's try this. Oh, it's very easy to cut. It's supposed to be a fine scrambled yolk using eggs. And these eggs come from Kyoto chickens. It's supposed to melt in your mouth and we're ready for it to melt. And three, two, one. Mmm! It's very spongy and when you take a bite, it just all kind of crumbles in your mouth. And then when you have the bites, it's kind of nice because you have this like soft, crumbly bread kind of cake. And then you have like these little crunchy bits and the crunchy bits are the sugar that they sprinkled on top. Very delicious. Definitely unlike any other Castella I've ever tasted. <laughs> Isn't it a girl's name? Castella! Just looking at this package makes me so excited. <laughs> It's like if you scoop it, it start breaking. Mm. Usually custard is like really dry and like I like to eat it with milk, but this one's like so moist. Like it's not that sweet. As you eat it, you start tasting that sweetness. It's nothing like American birthday cake, like big chunk of sugar kind of taste. It's good. I would buy it again. Number five, melon bread from Nemo Bakery. Nemo Bakery is a local bakery from Musashi Koyama, and this is their second store. Their baguette and croissants are the most popular, but that's not what I'm getting today. Check it out, we got some meronpan. They call it meronpan not because it tastes like melon, but because it looks like a melon. What kind of video would we have if we didn't have the meronpan? Look at that. Pure heavenly goodness. Can you hear that? So hard. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So basically, you have this hard layer encrusted with sugar on top. And then below it, you have a really, really fresh, fluffy bread underneath. The most tasting part is the top. The top layer is just like sugary goodness. Mm. It's actually my favorite. When I was a kid, I used to eat this only this coating. It's kind of like crusty cookies. Itadakimasu! Mm. Mm. It's not good. Just the bread. It's just really good. I don't know what it is. It's like fluffy, angelic bread. It's like lime green kind of. But this one's like the most basic one. Number four, Saya from Patisserie Sadaharu Aoki, Paris. This is a popular patisserie in Paris owned by a Japanese patissier, so it's kind of like a re-import. They have stylish cakes and macaroons that entertain customers' eyes and tastes. Look at this strawberry sensation. The top of it looks like almost a freaking painting. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six different layers. So the first and the fourth layer looks like they're the same. As you can see, there's like some red parts and then there's like white parts. So maybe that's all like one layer in, it, in itself. At the bottom, you have this white cake thing and then you have this crumbly cake. Strawberry. 
Freaking, that's a good strawberry. Very tasty. So velvety. That's delicious. I was expecting to have a cake sensation. It's all just silky, smooth, velvety cream. And then at the end, you get the like the crumbly bits of the bottom crust. Mm, this thing is infused with that strawberry goodness. Freaking amazing. Oh, I'm like drooling. It's so good. <laughs> or my lips are just so big. Oh, you see the surface of the top is like powdery. The color of this cake is so pretty. It's really Japanese color combination. Itadakimasu! Mmm, more like mousse, like layers of mousse. And then I think it's this red part. It's really sour, like I mean like good sour, like strawberry sour. This fluffy pink mousse or like wrapping that tanginess. It's really good. It's actually refreshing. I feel like eating all this like sweet stuff one after another. I thought it was gonna be like really tiring. This one is really like fruity and a bit sour. It's nice. I like it. Number three, premium soft ice cream from Le Chocolat de H. This chocolate store is always filled with chocolate lovers and we are diving into this today. Finally, some freaking ice cream. I'm so excited. All right, let's take our first bite. <clears throat> it's so thick. Oh, I wanted to have ice cream so bad. It's very, very rich. So silky smooth, uh, so chocolatey. Wow, it's filled to the bottom. Can you see? It's really, really heavy. Mm -hmm. It's not really like a dark chocolate. It's more like a milk chocolate kind of taste. And the waffles crispy too. Yeah, it has a lot of chocolate. Number two, Walrusk from Wasaku Benia. Benia is known for its unique Japanese flavored rusk like yuzu, matcha, and Japanese sugar. They also make a cute eclair rusk and that's what we're throwing down on today. This is the eclair rusk. Now the store actually had several different flavors. This is the cherry blossom and strawberry flavored eclair. It came in like this box with this tray that like came out and was wrapped in plastic. It's amazing how much detail is put into each and every single sweet. It looks like a breadstick at the bottom. Don't know if it's gonna taste like a breadstick. And then it has kind of like a frosted strawberry or maybe the sakura flavor on top and then in the middle you have actually it looks like the show cream like you know in the cream puffs it has little like crunchy flakes maybe bread crumbs of some sort and then it has another layer of maybe sakura or strawberry flavor all right let's take a bite it's actually it's pretty light in itself it doesn't look like it'd be a heavy thing and like a little snack let's try it out That was very crumbly when I ate it. Everything just like broke and crumbled in my mouth when I took a bite. Definitely can taste the strawberry. I didn't taste the cream so much, but the strawberry at the end is like a really, really strong taste. If I had to like compare it to anything, in the US, it almost tastes like a pop tart. You know when you get like the strawberry pop tarts and you don't actually put it in the toaster? It almost tastes like that. It's definitely a lot better than a pop tart. It's interesting though, I didn't really taste the cream so much and you would think that the, the cream would be creamy but it's really soft and almost like powdery. You can see like it's very thin and very light and it just like crumbles to the touch, you can see. Mm. It's really light and airy. Yeah, like Paolo said, it's not so moist and creamy. It's more like light, powdery cream. Kind of hard to explain. Green thing is pistachio. Sourness of uh, Ichigo and a little bit of cinnamon. And number one, Othello from Delimo. Delimo is directed by a chocolatier, so every cake has chocolate in it. And I love how every cake has its own bling bling. And Othello, making those money moves. Let me show you my little chocolate friend. Look how shiny that is. I can see the reflection of my face. At the shop, I saw so many different cakes I wanted to try. There was pistachio, there was all these like raspberry like looking things, but I decided to go with the chocolate. This little gold piece right here, it says, Kono Raburu Taberare Masen means you can't eat the label. I would probably try to eat the label, it looks so good. Good thing I could read some Japanese, okay. Ah, 
before I forget, all of the shops we've chosen today are all Japanese shops. You can't get it anywhere else in the world unless the shop has like gone international. Let's cut this baby open. Wow, it's like, oh, right after that first piece, it just kind of came. Oh, the bottom layer is super hard. I don't know why. Let me show you this delightful surprise. So you have this chocolate layer and on the inside you have chocolate cake and then this middle thing, I don't really know what it is because a custard almost. This looks like a piece of cheese and then this is like a chocolate mousse, I'm assuming. And then at the bottom, there's like a crust at the bottom right there. Let's take a little taste of this. A little piece of chocolate that just like it's so thin that it just melted in my mouth. Oh, look at that! Thank goodness. Holy freaking damn! That is the creamiest sensation I've had in a long time. Wow, Othello, you might be my best friend from now on. There's like so many different flavors in this cake. You have the I was right, it wasn't cheese, it was a custard. The mousse is just so creamy and at the bottom, it's almost like a graham cracker or like a gingerbread and it's freaking good. Definitely rich, fills every single piece of my soul. I <laughs> love this. If Michael were gone for a week, I think I could just hang out with Othello. It's a chocolate surprise. I think it's good to have everything in one bite, so just cut go. Wow, it's so shiny. It's like perfectly coated. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow, it's good. First it tastes like the creaminess of like just everything. And then while you were enjoying the milky like creaminess, you hit the cookie crust. So good. It's like a little heaven in here. If you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo and in Japan, like always, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.